everybody. Thanks for watching the Green Dream Project. I'm Jessica. I'm Peter. And we're gonna talk about another native animal to this area, and that is the Western Horse Lubber Grasshopper. Uh, these grasshoppers, they are a particularly large species and they live in the southwestern U.S. and the northern part of Mexico. They live in the desert uh, scrub and brush and in the grasslands in this area. So the name lubber, you know, that word means like a big clumsy person, which kind of fits the uh, the horse lubber grasshopper is this big thing and it kind of moves around slowly and sluggishly. It kind of looks kind of clumsy sometimes when it's moving and it can like it barely even jumps. It barely jumps. <laughs> sometimes it, it'll jump and kind of like fall over <laughs> or something. But um and most of them can't fly either so like have you heard of like a land lubber, like our land lubbers, <laughs> like that's uh, because they're flightless, they're terrestrial, they mostly just crawl on the ground. Another local name for them is the Mexican general uh, because of their coloration and sometimes I guess the way they, they move like kind of stiffly like a, a general or something I guess. Um, and two, like some years, there's a bunch of them, and it almost looks like an army. Yeah, it's crazy. Marching around. <laughs> <laughs> so the western horse lubber grasshopper is um, a very large grasshopper, like we said before. Um, the females are usually longer and bigger than the males. They're about seven centimeters long, which is pretty, that's pretty big for a grasshopper. And they can weigh up to nine grams. So they're like, they're, they're big and clunky. That's why they're so clumsy, because they weigh so much they can't even jump. <laughs> um, they're mostly black. Like she mentioned before, you hear them called uh, Mexican generals. The coloration um, of them is black but then they also have yellow wings on them then they also have the greenish uh, wings like on the front it's like a vein pattern and then they also have some red veins on the back um, wings that color the yellow and red stand out a lot on the black um, as a warning um, to would-be predators that hey I don't taste very good um, because they have a chemical defense you can see sometimes if you try to pick them up they'll like spew out this gross brown stuff but usually you see that with grasshoppers like it comes out of their mouth but this stuff comes out of like their side they have like a gland on each side under their uh, front legs and it just kind of like spews out and it's really gross <laughs> and <laughs> and I don't think anything would want to eat you after that it'd be like uh, no thanks <laughs> <laughs> they need uh, to regulate their body temperature so that black color helps a lot and most of them they need that warmth in order to grow so large i think that's why they're a lot bigger than most grasshoppers you see because of that color they can regulate the body temperature better and they grow very fast too in order to reproduce before the winter comes so these western horse lubber grasshoppers they will mostly eat low growing plants during the day. Then at night they kind of roost at the top of shrubs to avoid predators that would be on the ground that might eat them. Besides the plants, which is their main food, they eat 
a lot of other things almost anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> but probably. like some weird things too like spiders webs they'll eat feces they'll eat dead animals other dead insects dead mammals um sometimes they even cannibalize each other so these horse lovers once they're done breeding um, they lay their eggs usually in the rainy season during the monsoon and then you'll see a whole bunch of them by the time autumn starts coming around. By the time autumn's around, they're huge. But then, like late November, uh, when everything starts freezing at night and the temperatures drop a lot, um, they start dying off. They can't survive that. So then all the adults die off. Uh, the adults had all mated and they lay their eggs and all the eggs are laid underground to protect them. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Video bomb sick. <laughs> so after I was rudely interrupted, um, like I was saying, the, some of the predators are ants. Um, the ants will eat the nymphs when they're real, you know, the grasshoppers are real small. And there's also here in the Arizona, in the desert region, there's um, little mice. They're called grasshopper mice. And they're pretty vicious predators as far as mice go. Like, they're, they're carnivorous. They'll, they like to eat. Uh, insects and even other mice and they'll they don't care they'll even eat scorpions like it's crazy so savage hunters yeah so they'll you'll probably see something about them in one of our upcoming videos so in order to get rid of those predators like we said before they use that chemical defense and it's kind of crazy like it it kind of like sprays out the side of them and it makes this mix of a clicking and a hissing. Mm -hmm. So it's really weird and like I know I picked one up once and it was like and I was like, whoa. <laughs> All Was, kind of startling. Yeah, because you're you're not expecting. You're like, oh, it's a grasshopper, and you know, like mm -hmm. we we used to pick those up all the time, growing up, mm -hmm. and it's like out here, you're like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> thing? It's like attacking me or something. Yeah, I remember when we first purchased this property. Uh, we came out here and we saw these particular grasshoppers and they were everywhere they were on the roads walking around we're like what are those things and then we're kind of walking along the property and we're like all oh, these grasshoppers are huge and it, it was kind of freaky <laughs> but um especially since you want to like garden and stuff yeah, it's like, like whoa <laughs> are they gonna eat all our plants like what's going on <laughs> are they locusts are they like a plague what? yeah but um we noticed that the population seems to vary from year to year like this year there was not nearly as many maybe due to different environmental factors maybe rainfall or temperatures or something but it was kind of scary you know just knowing like the plans that we have for this property and then knowing that these grasshoppers, they don't have many predators because of that chemical defense. You know, they don't taste very good, so a lot of things avoid them. And they are so big, and, you know, sometimes there's so many of them. Uh, but they can't fly, you know, so that's one thing you don't have to worry about. Um, and they are so big, you know, they can't sneak into little cracks and things like that. And to, you know, 
they only live for part of the year. They grow really big, really fast, and then they die over the, the cold season. Mm -hmm. So those are just some things that we have to keep in mind with these grasshoppers as we're making plans out here. But they are kind of weird and interesting insects. You know, kind of yeah. pretty too, the coloration. Mm -hmm. That's it for the Western Horse Lubber Grasshopper. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And we'll have more on native plants and animals coming up. So stay tuned. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And as always, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.